Hello, this is Valentine from Complistic, and in this problem, we're going to calculate the pH of a buffer that results from mixing this amount of this acid and this amount of the base. Now, what's interesting out here is the K is given to us, but they've given us different amounts. So the volume is different, the concentration is different for this acid, and then uh, we have a certain volume and then a certain concentration for the base. So what we need to first do is when is realize that when we're mixing the buffer, uh, mixing the, the two solutions together, the net volume is going to change because 60 ml is going to get added to 15 to make a volume of 75 ml. And since you're calculating the pH of the buffer, we need to take that into consideration. Okay. So before you can go ahead and use the henderson hasselbalch equation, what we need to do is we need to first use calculate the new concentration of the acid in the new volume which is the 16 plus 15 and do the same for the new concentration of the base in the new volume 60 plus 15. to do that we, we can just first go ahead and write down the concentration of the acid given to us let's just make a table sort of so the concentration of the acid given to us is equal to 0 0.250 molar let's call that m1 and the volume of that is 60.0 ml which let's call that v1 now m2 is the new concentration which we're trying to find out and v2 is the volume which is going to be the sum of 60 and 15 which is going to be 75.0 ml so this allows us to use the formula the dilution formula which is m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 if we are solving for m2 then we can just write m2 is equal to m1 v1 over v2 so let's go ahead and apply that to this problem so m2 is going to be equal to m1 v1 over v2 which is equal to 0 0.250 times 60.0 60.0 over 75.0 and if we simplify that the new concentration ends up being 0 0.200 molar that is for my acid the concentration of the conjugate base which in this case we'll drop the na and only take the cho2 minus m1 in this case is the concentration given to us 0 0.500 molar uh, v1 is 15 ml m2 we got to calculate that and v2 sorry i'm just going to put a little e uh, question mark out here and v2 is going to be the 75 ml because both solutions are mixed using the same logic m2 is equal to m1 v1 over v2 gives us uh, m1 v1 is 0 0.500 times 15.0 over v2 is 75.0 and that gives us a concentration of 0 0.100 molar okay so we have the new concentration of the acid and the new concentration of the conjugate base at this point in time we have enough information to plug it into the henderson hasselbalch equation which is given as pH is equal to pKa plus log of the concentration of base over the concentration of acid. So Ka is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. So pK is negative log of 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4 plus log of the concentration of base is 0 0.100. Concentration of acid is 0 0.200. Upon simplifying, this side becomes 3.74 and this side becomes minus 0 0.30. That is equal to 3.44. And there you have it. That's the pH of this buffer solution. Thank you for watching.